God blesses the Lord. Ma'am, uh, I would like you to. Uh, I would like to reintroduce you as my colleague has done when you commenced your examination in chief. Do you understand? Uh, correct. It is common cause that you are a magistrate. Is that correct? That's correct. That is correct. For the benefit of the public, you are defined under Section 1 as a peaceful, peace officer. Is that correct? That's correct. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. You are in the same category as the justices and the police officers. Is that correct? correct. That is correct. officer Lord position position it is further correct that you were approached on the 24th of June 2020 to take a, a confession from accused number two. Is that correct? I was ordered to take a confession to I was not aware of who this confession would be. Sorry. Uh, I was approached uh, to take a confession. Uh, I wasn't aware as to from whom was the confession going to be taken. Mina wenzi wa uguti njenga taelo uguti ge angta tege confession uguti ya izo wenzi wapo ubani lo zo kuluma anguazi kama futa. Dete kiasi la otra ma bekin tu rari pushen wari bekin tu neswa offle a manier bungani sandisu intanzias. Uh, it only became later. Uh, it became known to me later, later stage that the person. Or oh, the deponent uh, was uh, uh, Bongani Sandy Sontans. Into Engazoyazi Gamuvage Uguti, Umuntuge Ozoyenza, the confession of Bongani Sandy Sontans. So, for the benefit of the public, it is correct so that the said confession was taken in terms of section 21A, so sorry, in, two, in terms of section 2171B. Roman figure two. That is correct. Uh, that is correct. We can see that 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 we Is that correct? No, I can't say that I'm going to get the report. Is it now number two? I cannot agree with you there. That relies on the word person, not accused. Yes, I mean it can relies on the deal or not. If you were just to refer me to the portion that you are, because here it refers to a person, not an accused. If you can direct me. To, where to which point you exactly mean? May I consult, my lord? You are reading the section. The, the section. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, the Two uh, in seven. Two one seven. Yeah. Sub one. B. B. Okay. Sub, sub one. Sub one B. That's correct. As you may not come down or come for advice, when I can hear the word accused or an obscure name. Because if you were, if you can just point out, because I cannot see or trace the word accused in here. It reads of such person mm -hmm. against such person. Such person, yeah. So I, I, I see the word specific. Thank you. I don't see that specific word. Angil boni gelel kamo kulumangalo kelana ikulumango muntu aikulumengom sola nama umangalel. Thank you for the correction. I would like to retract that question. Let me withdraw it. Let's proceed. May I consult you?
Now I'll go through the business five things. <coughs> Thank you. In relation to this, the provision that we, we were uh, dealing with, Section 217, it is indeed so that after taking a, 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 a confession, it must be reduced into writing. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, that is correct. We could not say that the move was to take the chat away. No matter what, we must not allow the law to show you the ballet pants. The prerequisites of the provision is that the person who is from whom you are taking a confession must make such a confession freely and voluntarily, in his sound and, and sober senses. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, that is uh, correct. We can say that we have to make a confession to the people who are going to come to the people who are going to come to the people who are And it further states that we, it must be made without being induced or coerced or made under threat. Is that correct? Yeah, that yes, without having unduly Influenced. That is, that is how it reads, yes. If you have a lake, you can see that you can For the benefit of the public, the same provision under section 2171A provides similar prerequisites. Is that correct? You can say so, yes. But the only distinction is that the, set, the provisions in terms of section 2171A, it is made by a non judicial officer. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, that is correct. We can say that we have to say that we have in the same provision of section 2171A, it also requires the confession to be made in writing. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, that is uh, correct. By footage, lawyer 2171A, we are sure that the confession is made in writing. We are sure that the confession is made it further makes a provision that that particular confession shall only be admissible unless it is uh, reduced into writing in the presence of a, a magistrate or justice. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. No good to get footy, a local Guzo went the guy, go to Yamugelege, the good Umayen Ziwa, Napam Bigwake, Umundu Oi Manch. If that as a, as a magistrate, if that confession in terms of section 2171A is made by an officer but not in the presence of in the presence of a magistrate, do you regard that as a properly taken confession? As far as I understand, as there is no evidence to be found on, for example, a police or a person who is not the rank of an officer, no, with another word, it is a lower rank. As far as I know, as far as far as I understand. If a confession is made uh, to a person who is not an officer or a person who is lower uh, with regards to a rank, Mobamige Uguazi, Umangabage, a confession, Leo Yenzuage, Futi and Ziwa, Gumuntuge, Ongas, your Nage, officer, Nomagan, a school, Dage, Uniskunda, Esipan, Nomesis and Zanzi. Dan Mudardi, the Kintenes, Fur Alandros, the Festa Hort. And then that confession needs to be confirmed in front of a magistrate or before a magistrate. 
confession layer, because of final leg, Ogotiga, Unigas, is Prince Soge, Napambi, Quayo, Imanj. That is me, mine since in Snurda, that the Landros Fisis and Vura Huftevius of the Stadium as Doi, the Kentinus Geneum was. But it would not steeds and Scriptic Geneum would in Dan Befestig would wear for a Landros. It is not necessarily, or it is not necessary for it that a magistrate should be present when it is made or when it is taken down, but it needs to be confirmed. Or the, the confirmation part needs to be confirmed uh, in front or before a magistrate. I will see you go Uma Yenziwa, the final image, Ibe Kona, no more magistrate, Abe Kona, what the Uma is your consegue swag, local Wenzi, or Pambi Waki, Umanj. And Levi? And what? That has. That is. In specific geval was it not um, a confession of a bekentenis in terms of an article in Sub Ani? Aangezien die persoon waar die confessie afgeleid aan mij aangeduid dat hij geen ander soortgelijke verklarings gemaakt heeft. But with the, regards to this particular one, it is not a confession that was made under uh, section or sub uh, section one uh, section one sub a, uh, seeing that the person who or the the deponent of the confession uh, informed me or indicated to me that he had no, made no uh, other confession or uh, in confession which is similar to this. Lapage panswa kege u section one lo na sub a. Besting a coga is to Mosalo, Mobag, Lomuntu, Ebenza, Nomagbesenza, the statement the Pamguam, who she looked aiko any ayen zeal, the aging alien. That's correct. The, 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 the thing is, I, your evidence is that this is how you understood section 2171A. That is correct. That is correct. In the lag, lay your egg in Muzanga, no making him understand the Nayo section 2171 A. But my question did not relate to how do you understand section 2171 A. My question related to what is prescribed by the Act of Parliament. Unless you want us to read the whole section. For you to understand, you to can give, read it. you can read it. I said, believe. He says you can read it. Sorry. He says you can read it. My Lord, may I read it with the assistance of my attorneys? Yes, Mister. Who is this? As the court pleases, my lord, my lord, section 2171 a uh, the section 217 says admissibility of confession by accused, and 1A says, and I quote, that a confession made to a peace officer other than a magistrate or a justice, or in case of a peace officer referred to in section 334. A, a confession made to such a person, such a peace officer, which relates to an offense with reference to which such a peace officer is authorized in, in exercise, is exercise any power conferred upon him under that section shall not be admissible in evidence unless confirmed and reduced to in writing in the presence of a magistrate or justice. Thank you, Madam. Did you understand it? That is correct. That is correct. It does not relate to any rank of the peace officers. Do you agree? That is correct. I'm a peace officer. So it differs with the, the way you understood it. Do you agree now? 
That is correct. Let's get into the date in which you you said you were informed by Mrs. Duplessis or you were requested to take a confession. Is that correct? That's correct. That is correct. The communication between yourself and Mrs. Duplessis, was it in writing or verbally? Telephonically. In Guluma Paratwamig, no Mrs. Duplessis, or who you know, one Taylor, a Wabung or Timo. So the details of what you discussed between yourself and Mrs. Duplessis cannot be confirmed if she is not called to confirm such conversation. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. So that part of evidence can be provisionally accepted unless or until Mrs. Duplessis is called to testify in order to confirm that conversation. Is that correct? Die raad het dit reeds een uitspraak daar oor gegeet hoe ek die getuienis gelever het. The judge has already made a ruling with regards to that when I testified. En so ver ek kan onthou, was dit aangeduid as dat het geskrap moet word van ons oorsie. And as far as I can remember, it was indicated that it should not form part of the record because it is hearsay. Maar, ten opzichte van u vraag, dit bly die kese van die hoof en die ang, die staatsadvokaat, wat hulle met die deel wil weet. But with regards to your question, it remains the choice of the court as well as the state as to what they are going to do as far as that is concerned. Koe kunsoge oguti impelage, angege gugu, Gubernis Prinsoge Salogo Gashio Paratigwa Minayo O Mrs. Duplessis Potwage Nkantolo Ibi Siskipilege Ismo Mungkati Nigezela Ngo Pfagaz Oguti Leyo Nganye Yo Pfagazige Oguti Inga Mugelwage Nanje Oguti Yindo Oguti Ageko Lo Muntu Lona Nkulu Mangaye Oguti Kuzo Gwenzi Wanyige Mufagwa Loko Ismo Mose Nkantolo Kani Nayo Mshushis When you arrived at Boxberg Court It was half past two Subject to correction, but I heard that it was half past two. Nee, dit was vijf en twintig uur twee min of meer. No, it was more or less twenty-five past two. Start in Afrika naar zo een box bij kon gaat ik wel goed twenty-five past two. Twenty-five past two. And when you entered the court building, or when you entered towards the office that was prepared for you, that is room two. You saw police officers who were heavily armed. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. We can see that we are not going to get a lot of people. Were you not frightened? No. 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 When you noticed somebody that was handcuffed, that was an assumption that this is the person who is coming to take a confession. Is that so? That's correct. That is correct. Ya boge uma ngabona ke umuntu ofaka ozankosi la ingacabangela khona ke ukuthi uyena ke lo muntu lona uzokhuluma noma uzokwenza confession. The person who was wearing the suit you said did you manage to know who that person was? That's correct. That is correct. What was Who was that person? The person who was presented to me in the chamber as Mr. Dominic Njiaku. The person introduced himself to me himself to me in the office as Dominic Njiaku. Why is that? Because I am not sure if he is Dominic Njiaku. So I follow him and find out that after the documentation he has given me what he has done. But his full details or his full names as well as his surname, I got those from the document that he provided me with. Kotoage amakama ake apelele ngawa tolage kuloko nomage document awayeng nigeze yona. 
Let's just start with uh, Mr. Mchiako Dominic. It's your evidence that you satisfied yourself that he was an attorney. Mm. Correct? Yeah. Yes. But there was a distinctive feature that actually happened or you treated him differently from other police officers. Let me just put it very straight to say you did not make the copies of the Fidelity Fund certificate and the appointment certificate. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, that is correct. We can certificate sakige na le sisi fidelity fund anga anga nzawa angwe nzanga amakopi aloko. And you made the copies of the officers, including the the officers, the officer Mr. Muhano, and you attached them on the pro forma. Is that correct? Ek het self nie die afskrifte gemaakt nie, hulle die afskrifte gemaakt nie in die kantoor ingebring, net voordat ek begin het met die bekend. I did not personally make the copies, they made the copies and brought uh, the, those copies to the office just before I started with the confession. Ago is mina age owa wenza age lai oma kopi, oma kuluma age ngomu khani, ibo wana ba hamba bayo wenza, ba sebe wa leta age ngapambi, lini nje uguti mkale age ngenze the confession. But at your request, is that so? That is correct. That is correct. But you, but you never requested the, to the copies of Mr. Mchiako to be <coughs> the FFC certificate and the appointment certificate. You never requested it to be copies to be made out of them. Is that correct? That is correct. When you saw go go to El Gam Mchiako or Naga, my paper is hanging. Tell go to go into my copy. And Mr. Mchiako, that Dominic Mchiako unless if he's called to testify. What he told you cannot be accepted in court as hearsay evidence. You agree? That's correct. Uh, that is correct. Yeboge Angela Bonage, Umjiago Logo, and Bazigo Gamgelek and Gantolo Nanja Mutin to Naiza and Goba, Mapanjin Bobuta Bizwe, as a Yenak, as of others. And that failure to prove that evidence cannot be corroborated by the copies that should have been attached in the pro forma. Do you agree? There is no copy on what the inscribing of this document is to that effect is not correct. That is correct, yes. There is no copy made with regards to that which is attached to this uh, confession. We can see how good things are going. We can copy the logo. No matter how badly we lap, we can no matter how many years we have done this. So this honourable court cannot accept the evidence of a discussion between yourself and Mr. Mchiako. Do you agree? In terms of fun, but with regards to what the conversation between yourself and Mr. Mchiako, who said is the attorney. Dominic Mjiako. That is bevestigd door die persoon wat die bekentenis self gemaakt het ook en hy het hierdie man uitgewees ook as sy prokureer en hierdie man het bevestigd dat hy die prokureer is. So ten opzichte van die voorzittende beamte myself moet ek aanvaard as een persoon een bekentenis kom afle en hy self wees na hierdie man en sê dit is sy prokureer en hierdie man bevestigd het that it well so is. Uh, this was mentioned or was said by the, the deponent of the confession. And then the person himself confirmed that indeed he was the lawyer. Now I, as the presiding officer, the person who was now taking down the uh, confession, then has to accept that indeed if the person, the deponent says this is his lawyer and he confirms that is, it is indeed so. Logo kwa kulunya uye na agelona owa iso kwenzi statmende, mogo tu meli waki. Nayego lo ego to a woman in Nayega was a clean segisaga logo to me. Nanjanga manchi geminaga and so when the good in Gamuga leg would to logo about Jala Bona and Gambella Uganjal. I get myself for her was many documentals he what I for her lay. May that very for a person where the bekentenis afgeleid on my near gedele as we keep the procurator. Marie is rah as the start 
als hij dit in twijfel getrek wordt dat hij die persoon sê wie hij is, dat hij niet een procureur is nie, dat hij mij als voorzittende beambte misleidt, of dat door een bewering is dat die persoon glad niet eerst daar was nie, dan moet die staat, die staatsadvocaat, toezien dat die persoon geroep wordt. Wat mij betreft in de omstandigheden was ik tevreden dat in oor tijd geweest dat hierdie man sê wie hy is en dat die persoon wat die bekentenis aflee wel ook tevrede is met hierdie man wat sê dat het sy procureur is en dat het is die persoon wat hy aangestel het. Uh, this uh, was said to me by the deponent and then the documentation was then uh, provided or shown to me. I then I certified myself with that what did which was said by the deponent as well as the documentation that it was indeed the case. If now there is this allegation now from your side that this person was not uh, a lawyer or was not an attorney or that this person was never there, then indeed yes, as you say, the state will then, or that this person misled me as the presiding officer, then of course it is incumbent upon the state to then call this person to come uh, before the court. Thank you. No koge ogwa shiwa uloyo owa yewenza owa yewenza statement ikmin. Nga seng nige zwage ne pepade no mage i dokument em kaza yoge uguti umedi lo muntu. Nga seng nize neza guguti ngempela loko kukanjalo umage guguti loko wenage oksho yuguti kalo muntu wa yenge eko lapu wa yenga siyena umedi no ma wang koshi saage mina uzo shoge uguti kuzo fanyelu uguti eze pambi kwa lenkandolo azo kshoge loko. Di tok was natuurlijk ook ten woorag tarin si yele voorval en is ook een getuie tot wat plaatsen vindt dit in die kantoor. The interpreter was also present during the proceedings and is also a witness with regards to what happened in the office. I've indicated... Ma'am, I said, let us just start with Dominic Nchiyako. My question still stands. What you discuss, forget about the deponent, what you discuss between yourself and Dominic cannot be confirmed at this moment. Is that correct? I have already answered the question. I, uh, I maintain that which I have already said. Sengu pindulega lombuzo jemubuza usho kukuti Ogu wakulu nyo imi nage no Dominic ange asiku shpunsegi sosao Sengu pindulega lombuzo And I'll further Sorry, sorry, Mr. Mkomizu Sorry Sorry This witness adds a rider That the interpreter was present When this Hasprek When this discussion happened Are you saying that, man? That's correct Yeah, that's the rider she adds My lord, I'll come to the Evidence of an interpreter. No, no, fine. The but important I'm just saying, the witness as a rider. You see the problem here. She's testifying in Afrikaans, and you off as machtig in Afrikaans. So that rider was not interpreted. No, I did not. No, no, you interpreted it the first time. Are you with me? But when she says, "end." The talk was that so. Okay, fine. Sorry. Okay. No problem. So, to your knowledge, you are not sure if. Okay, let me just put it this way. Let's get into. I'll, I'll just sum up my my questions in relation to Mr. Mjiako by saying other than a, a, confession, a confirmation by the interpreter. There's nothing that you can confirm that Mr. Mjiyako was present on that particular day. Your client can, can confirm that. It's my instruction that he was not represented on that day and he does not even know Mr. Mchiyako. It's my instruction. That's why I'm still insisting on the right to legal representation. As that instruction is, then 
vertel die klient nie vir u die waarheid nie? If that is your instruction, then your client is not telling you the truth. Uguma ungaba ge logo utige umelona umelo kuchala logo ge ugufu wainga melo wainga lelia langa kushugu ti agakjeli ikliniso. All right. If that is so, he's not telling me the truth. I just want to establish because you said you have done not less than 50 confessions in your experience. Do you still confirm that? That is correct. That is correct. When you're taking a confession in the presence of a legal practitioner, what is the role of the practitioner? Is it, pos is it passive or active? The role of the, of the attorney when you're taking a, a confession? Is it passive or active? Ten opzichte van een confessie behoort dit niet te wees in de mate dat die procureur voor die beschuldigde, voor die uh, deposant voorzee of voorschrijf uh, wat with, hij moet zien, nie, maar kan wel adviseer en bijstaan. Uh, with regards to a confession, it is not uh, necessary that the uh, lawyer or the attorney would inform uh, the, uh, the person as to what it is uh, to say, in, in other words, lead the person into what to say, but would, uh, yes, uh, advise the person and also uh, uh, be there or represent the person. Gokmaila nayege umeli aksu kutige uma eko na umeli lapo kuti kufanela mchele loyo ahamba na inoma amelu kuti yina kufanela isho ukona nje ukuthi amelu lege no kutige amkasege no mage amsupport kuti abe ngoko bukona bate lapo According to... Atkan, excuse, atkan i fuert met enige bekentenis al fuerens ek nie vastgestel het of beide partije teenwoordig ten opzichte van die verklader en die procureur behoorlijk met mekaar geconsulteer het nie. Uh, I do not... En vind ek dit uiters vreemd okay, dat... Okay. I do not proceed or I do not go ahead with taking of a, a statement, whether it's a confession or a statement, without uh, confirming or making sure that both parties had properly consulted, that is now the person, the, dep the deponent as well as uh, the, the lawyer. I um, bekentenis enigszins andersens sou beweer. And I find it very strange that the deponent in this case or in this instance would uh, then now mention it or say it differently or otherwise. Eh, futige ku yinto manjege eng, eng, eng mangaza yoge uguti lonage uh, engan kulume sana na ye lanage manje akulume okshugile noma akulume enye indo. I'm glad that you mentioned the interpreter. But what I want to establish from you, the person who was going to take a confession, is that did you afford them an opportunity to consult prior to the taking of a, consult, a, a confession? Where is the band geluister? I weet dit is gedoen. I weet beide partijen het my meegedeel dat um, hulle klaar geconsulteer. Okay, wait, that's what. Uh, Sir, you listened to the record. You know very well that uh, the both parties informed me that they did that. Ula le lile e record. Uya kwa zifuti uguti baba bilige bangche lile uguti loko bebe sebe kwen zile. So the answer to the frog is not caught in crafter. That is good. And so uh, the answer to your question is uh, short and sweet. It was done. Ma'am, I just want us to, to be in the same page when I'm asking questions. For your information, that tape recording has not, has, has, has not been accepted in this court. We can't rely on it. Do you agree? Do you know that? 
Ek, is kenne, ek neem nou kennis van wat u sê, die staatsadvokaat het ook vir my gesê toe ek geroep is. Uh, I'm taking note of what you say now and the prosecutor also informed me when I was uh, called. Nga kuzo ake manje jongo bu mje lage ogo tira koti ngle yoga asyo ni nga nyok fagazi na mshushi so mje lili. I just want to establish the presence of a legal practitioner. Dus reeds geantwoord meneer, daar was een teenwoordig, sy besonder rede is neergeskryf en sy fidelity van certificaat nummer is neergeskryf. So hy behoort op spoorboord te wees. Uh, I've already answered the question sir. Uh, his uh, particulars or his details are written there as well as the uh, fidelity funds uh, is also a number is also written there. So that means that uh, he's uh, traceable or he can be traced. My love, sorry, sorry, sorry. My love, 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 between the deponent and his attorney who initiated in the taking of a confession. Was it the deponent or his attorney? The verklaarder. The deponent. Thank you. Umuntuge owaye kwa. Pagatiko meli kanya na yege loyo owa nigeza ki statmende. Umuntuge owaye kulumage na mage owa kalagi. Kuluma kwa kuhuye na yege loyo owa nigeza ki statmende. As I've maintained that, uh, that would be the version, but I can't repeat the version of the, of accused number two. Let's get into the presence of the people that were in room two before you took the, the confession. It's your evidence that you went to the other room where you collected the pro forma, you agree. Ek het uitgestap om na die uh, senior landrustie te gaan. Ek het daar in die gang gekry en sy het vir my die papier voorsien en ek is terug in die, in die kantoor. Uh, I went out uh, on my way to the senior uh, magistrate. Uh, I then uh, met her or found her in the passage. She then provided me with the documents. I then went back to the office. Nga puma age nge njongo yogu tingi agu ye nage opete o manje o noma i manje nga slanga na na yege lako e passage wa seng nge zage ama pepa nga buye la gula wovi senga nge glon. So, we need clarity. I think the court will need clarity in terms of the performer, the, the performer that you were given by Mrs. Duplessis. Mm -hmm. It is, is it a statutory form? or just a guideline? That is not a, a leiden. That is not a statutory form. form. It's not a prescribed form, a statutory form. It is just a guideline. Aksionage i form, ongat i form, jenage lene ang nigeza yonak na mamepa ang nigeza wana ak kaze la yogen jen no mage a inkom buguti yine kufane luyenze. For the benefit of the public, do, can you explain what is a statutory form? Voorgeskrewe form. It's a prescribed form. Uh, Mokum mm again -hmm. statutory form, a form Mugeleo, and Atige, Yonage Fanele, a Sachin Ziswe. Do you agree with me that a statutory form is more reliable than a guideline or a pro forma form that you completed on the day? Dit mag so wees, maar ek weet nie van een bekendene statutare voorgeskrewe vorm nie. It might be the case, but I don't know of a, a statutary form or a confession statutary form. Ungenze kage logo kuluma yoge, ugutige yonage, statutary form yonage, imklampe i nigeza ogu ningige, gota angiazi ige loyo form leyo, noma egu yon, egu bizo nguti statutary form, u magu hany noma gwenziwa yona i confession. In essence, a statutory form will contain all the prerequisites of a particular provision, particularly section 217. Do you agree with it? I don't know which form are you referring to. The form of Kulman are you angry as? As it a foregeschreven form is, then behoort the person where it opgestaan is, daar aan te voldoen, aan wetgeving te voldoen. 
Uh, if it is a prescribed form, then it means that the people uh, that is now, or the legislature, or the people that came up with the document, then need that to, uh, uh, in other words, uh, to uh, meet the, those uh, requirements. That they are still the plight of the landlords or the person who the bekentenis afneem. It is still the duty, but it still remains the duty uh, of the magistrate or the person taking down the confession. Om te maak dat die vrou wat word, so is dat dit baie duidelik is dat hier die formaliteitsvereistes aan voldoen is. Uh, that the questions that are, uh, that are asked or the questions that are contained in there, uh, that those questions then meet uh, the requirements or the needed requirements. And then the form that voorgehou word. Askies, I verstaan nie die beweging wat die maak met die hand. I don't understand this movement you are making with your hand. No. Dit is, askies, achtbaar, dit is, your lordship, dit is baie distracting. Mm -hmm. it's, it's distracting, my lord. Uh, I, 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 I believe if it's distracting, I'm sorry for that. But there's another way that I'm using my hands to rethink or to connect in terms of my reasoning. Do you understand? I understand, but I will value it as you do not do it, because this is not the first time that you do it, that you may ask me. I understand, but uh, I would request that you don't do it again, because it's the first time you're doing it since you started asking me questions. All right. Let's uh, just do it like this. Let me go back to the answer. In the context of the form that you have asked, the Raunio Forum, this is not a statutory form. This is a form that is achter wel aan the bepalings that are required in terms of Article 2 and 7. It bevat genoeg in the minds and sins to the voorvereisers for the bekentenis aan te voldoen. Can you tell us a brief sin for sin for your man? I get no secret line of mass. Can you be even on a word and run for you? You see the forum? The statutory form that I talk is I'm unaware of. The statutory form that you are referring to, I'm not familiar with. Yeah. The betrokken form that here for here the hof is, it voldoende vrouw wat gevrouw wordt aan de deposant. This form that is before this court, they've got uh, enough questions or the required questions, which are uh, the requirements. Uh, which are the requirements of, of this form? Om te voldoen aan die voorvereiste soos gestel is. Is per the uh, requirements. Maar, sou ek voorsien gewees het van een vorm wat nie daar aan voldoen het nie, dan sou ek dit moes neerskryf enige verdere vraag, so dat ek daar aan kon voldoen. And if I was then provided with a form that did not meet those requirements or have those enough uh, those uh, questions, I would then have added uh, questions to make sure that it meets the requirements. Thank you, Mayor. Can it be interpreted? If form on Buzanga, you go call the number of paper along Buzanga, log a Anglas, Minagin, Pinlanga, Lily, Eli Pambiguami, Oguti, Lonagi, Elna, Limi Buzo, Ea Nel, Noma, Efanel, Oguti, Yona, Ebuzoi. Uma go uguti ngang nigezwe enyege ifom kube uguti ge aina yoge imibuzo eya nele nga bengzo uguenge zage eminye uguen zage sprengsego so uguti ngempela ge yonke le ekfanele uguti buziwe ikona na mafuti yebo ngempela ibuziwe. All right. To qualify that question or that answer, can you show me in that show, in that form, a paragraph where a requirement of freely and voluntarily a statement must be made freely and voluntarily as prescribed by section 217 sorry mr ngamazili do you have a form which has those requirements to show to the witness because this witness is not a lay person she's, a, she's an attorney she's a magistrate she knows what is section 217. And according to her, 50 confession statements in the past, she has Lord, handled them. Lord, but not, wait, Mr. Mgomazu, let's be fair to the witness. You talk about a form which you say 
it has the requirements which you are saying it quotes 217. Show the witness that. I not if you understood me. I said, mm. what is the difference between a statutory reform and that pro forma form? Yes, she says the she gave, form. She gave a, 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 a distinction. I said, according to this form, I never said I have a statutory reform that prescribes this. I said, according to this pro, pro forma form, does it constitute freely and voluntary as required by section 217 that's all what i want from her to tell me that is it contained in the pro forma die freely woord, and voluntarily die woord ongedwonge en vrywillig daai spesifieke bewoording verskyn nie hier en maar as u die vraag lees en u volg die vraag en u sien hoe dit gevraas en saamgestel is en dat het wel gevraas aan die deposant, dan is dit die prerogatief of dit is die uh, voorzittende beamte, in ieder geval myself, wat myself vergewis het daarvan, dat hier die um, bekendenis wel vrijwillig en ongedwonge afgelee is. Uh, those, bete, sorry, sorry, maak het baie moeilik van my, maak het baie moeilik. Uh, those specific words that you are uh, asking me about are not contained in this form. But if you look at the questions, how the questions are being asked, how the questions are being uh, written down, and uh, you would then, and then myself as the magistrate, um, then have to satisfy myself that indeed uh, this statement or the confession, it is indeed made freely and voluntarily. What you saw is on page six. One very good question that has but been compiled here on page six. What is in a near to do? I frag antwoord is uitgezet in die vraag wat lees en ek hou aan. Yes, for onlik. Which is in a nutshell answers the very same question that you are asking and I quote. You come a fourth one. You have now told me that you were not influenced, encouraged, assaulted, or threatened to make the statement, and that no promises were made to you in order to persuade you to do so. I wish to once again ask you to take me into your confidence and tell me if in your opinion anything irregular has been said or done to influence you to make the statement. I undertake to ensure that your allegations are immediately and properly followed up and attended to. And the answer no, nothing of that sort. So, there was a line van vrouw wat tot op hierdie punt gekom het, in licht van die line van die vrouw en hier die vrouw het ek myself tevrede gestel as, as a landros, dat hier die bekendenis wat hy van voorneme was om te maak, wel vrijwillig en ongedwonge uh, there was a line of questions that was put and uh, which then eventually led uh, to the question that is the, the witness now just read. And as a result of that, I then, as the magistrate, satisfied myself that uh, the statement or the confession that was made, that it was made freely and voluntarily. Uguti 
wena ke mfisi ukucela ke ukuthi ungethe mbeke futhi ke usho ukuthi ngovo lwakho ingaba khona yini ongahamba ngakahle noma ongahambi kahle okushiwe kuwena noma okwenziwe kuwena ukuthi uzokwenza lesi statement ngiyaqinisekisake ukuthi insolo zakho zizothike uh, zizothike zinakwe wase ephendula ke ethi cha akukho okukanjalo thank you i will let me um want ek sien dat dit bietjie verlore gegaan in die tolkwerk. Dit is ten opsigte van die verklaring, die bekendnis wat gemaakt sou word. Okay, nie wat al reeds gemaakt is nie. Wat gemaakt want to, sou word. I just want to uh, just rectify this uh, and I see that it got lost in translation. And just before I got I get on my lord, I did request the witness she makes very long statement. Mm. So it is possible that it might get lost. So kan u kan u weet dat kort daar nie ek is nog verklaar nie. Uh, that uh, in the statement that was about to be made, not already made. Mrs. Felu uh, Cronier. I believe from what you were reading, it's the wording of a particular paragraph, which as a magistrate, you think it meets the requirement? Meneer, ek het baie vergewis dat hierdie verklaring, die bekendnis wat hy wou maak, vrywillig was op, gebaseer op die antwoorde wat hy gegeen. Uh, sir, I satisfied myself that uh, this statement or this confession that he intended making was freely and voluntarily based on the answers that he provided me with. Ngaze nezage mina ukuthi statement lesi ke awayefisa ukusenza noma awayezosenza ukuthi wayezosenza ngokuphuma kuyena ngeyimpendulo ayengnikeza zona According I will maintain on the wording of the paragraph it was already a prepared wording which you read to the deponent it's not something that is coming from the deponent to mean freely he was answering something that has already been prepared. Advocate, with all respect, this is not the first question that I was asked to the following to come. I have the question answered and I have understood by my answer. Advocate, with that due respect, that is not the only question that was uh, asked or that was uh, put to him with regards to that. I have already provided my answer and I still maintain it. Aksuonage water umlumbuzo enke to funda manje o wabuzo no guye nage ngok maila na nalo koge impendulo sengik nige zile footing mile gle impendulo ngik nige yona. If fra for my of actor and yuri pertinente forum di vuerde basi seit van het i di of is i van fuerneme om hier di verklaring vrijwillig en ongedwongen te maak vuerde tot daai effect. Yuri forum het dit nie. Ek is ook nie bewus van die statitare vorm wat dit heet. Ok. You've specifically asked me with regards to the words freely and voluntarily. And this particular form doesn't contain or have those words. And I know of no statutory form that contains those words or those two words. Ungbu zilege maela nala makama mabili. Ngo kulegile no guti futige au potriwe. Aweko la umakamu. Lana ayiko nyefo mfuti engi azio ena awo. And I would actually appreciate to answer me as a witness, not as a magistrate. As a witness that has been sworn in. My question is... Mr. Sorry, Mr. Mgumezo. She's a magistrate. Yes. My Lord, that cannot no, no. change. You're saying she must answer you not as a magistrate. She is a magistrate. She is a magistrate, yes. my Lord. That cannot change. Yeah, that's But right. she must. I'll well, make an example of uh, Nelson Mandela, my Lord. He was a, a witness in the in matter of uh, Louis Late. He has never been addressed as a, 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 as a president of the country at that time. There, could, there, there must be a distinction between your position and as being sworn in as a witness. Yeah. Hence, sorry, yeah, yeah, you may have she, a point she, about she can easily say, <laughs> advocate. I mean, she's inviting me to, 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 to draw such conclusions. 
no. as I'm requesting the court for the protection of this witness as the duty of the court. Mm. She must understand that where she is seated, she is a witness. Yes. The evidence that she is going to, I'm talking about parole evidence here. That's the oral evidence that you are giving. What you did outside is an extrinsic evidence. We are trying to follow the extrinsic evidence where that you complied with it. You are the witness to say that. Hence, if I'm saying get into the answers, the wording, let's look at paragraph 1A, for instance. Can you please read it for me? I inform the deponent that I am a magistrate. Thank you. Stop there. Thank you. I just want to go through the wedding. What were you expecting from the deponent if you, that forms, tell the deponent that you are the magistrate? What does it say? Yeah. Was it necessary for that form to say I'm the magistrate? Natuurlijk moet die man weet vir wie hy verskyn. Hy behoort te weet in wat omstandighede hy hom bevind, waar hy hy gevat is, voor wie hy verskyn, met wie hy praat. Yes, of course, he had to know uh, before who was he appearing, the circumstances under which he was or he found himself uh, in. Bok mele ogoti azige, ogoti upambi gobani, the introduction in the presence of an attorney your introduction in the presence of the attorney was that was that not sufficient enough for him to believe that you are a magistrate Niemand zou geweet het dat ek een landros is nie. Ek het nie toe gaan aan nie. Ek is in civiele draag en ek is in een kantoor. Uh, at that stage, sir, I hadn't informed anyone that I was a magistrate. Uh, no one knew I wasn't wearing my gown or my robe, and I was in my civilian clothing, and I was in an office. That means... That means... Hierdie man het gevra om na een hoofd toe gevat te word. Hy word in een kantoor ingevat met een persoon met civiele draag. This gentleman requested to go to court, or this gentleman requested to be taken to court. He is then taken into an office with a, with a person who is in civilian clothing. Can we not... Sorry, 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 sir. I'm asking you, Mrs. Cronier, do not involve or say something that is not asked. My question is, before you completed, there are particulars of the deponent on top there, which you got from the, either the lawyer or the deponent or the investigating officer. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand what you say. Yes, I understand what you say. My question is, is it according to the paragraph 1A, was it necessary to mention that you are a magistrate? Natura. Does that not of constitute inducement? No. no. I'll leave it for argument. My, my, my submission and my, I'll put it to you that that pro forma on its own it, it has on a value, face value of it. We call it a patent defect. It has an element of inducement. If you say I'm a magistrate, that means already you sway the impulse of the of the deponent. Do you agree? Yeah. No. Thank you. I'll leave it for argument. Proceed. I'll stop you where, wherever I want you to, to stop. Proceed with that, uh, with that uh, paragraph. You said, I'm the magistrate, comma. And I'm not in any way involved in Thank the you. investigation. Thank you. He did not ask. You are telling him. You are making him comfortable, according to am I right? I'm a magistrate, I'm not involved in the investigation. 
we are making the deponent comfortable. Is that is that not so? That's all the effect. Eh? That's uh, that uh, will have that effect. Yes. Yeah, the magistrate. magistrate. the 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 don't get emotional, ma'am. My question, answer my question as I ask you. Because I follow the logic. If you say I made him comfortable, I'm, I'm satisfied. There's a, a next question to follow. Do you understand? Yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is the basis for saying the witness is getting emotional. Uh, I think if my learned friend can just confine himself just to asking questions without uh, taking the witness. My Lord, when I'm asking the question from the witness and tends to say things which do not relate to my question, as it has been indicated, that is a magistrate. He is actually getting out of the scope of the profession. Hence, I just want to confine the magistrate or the witness, not the magistrate, the witness on the line of questioning, because I've got the reason to stick on that paragraph 1A. Sorry, Mr. Gomez. I don't wish to interfere. Doesn't section 217 speak of a magistrate who can take a confession? It speaks about the magistrate. Yes. That's and correct. she is approached by her senior Mrs. Duplessis as a magistrate to go and take a confession. It's, may, may it's just egregious that uh, she happens to be a witness, but she is also a magistrate. And she, when she was told, asked or requested by Mrs. Duplessis to take a confession, she was being instructed to do or requested to do so as a magistrate, as stipulated in Section 217 of the Constitution. Thank you. I mean, of, may, of may the I, Criminal may, Procedure Act. May I clarify that? Yes, okay. The reason why I want to clarify mm. is because we are running away from the the, the 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 part the, the element of inducement a provision specifically say it must be made before the magistrate mm. it does not introduce the magistrate to the taking of the confession i'm not sure if you understand no, I but don't. i said i, I want to leave it for argument yeah. may i repeat I what I, what i was submitting before the yes. lordship yeah okay. my lordship is that Section 217 mm -hmm. says it must be taken, is directing us that such a particular confession must be taken by a magistrate. Yes. But now, you are the magistrate, you've got the forms from Mrs. Duplessis, mm -hmm. everyone, especially in the presence of an attorney. She should have actually introduced herself to say, I'm the attorney, I'm sorry, I'm the magistrate who's coming to take a, a confession. I was told that I must come and assist in the taking of a confession. Now, my concern is about the patent defect that is on that performer. Because okay. when you introduce yourself in the, in the statement where he must freely make a statement, there's no point that she was supposed to say, I'm a magistrate. What should she have said? A statement- According to you. According to me, mm. a statement must have been narrated immediately to say, on this particular day, this is what I've no, done. No, no, the question, no, no. Okay. What would you have said? Because you say she was not supposed to have said, I am a magistrate. Now I'm just inquiring, what should she have said? Meaning, my Lord, must I correct the performer? Uh, according to no, the... No, 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 I'm just asking you because you're saying... Uh, my Lord, I've never conducted a, a, 
a, a confession, and I was not, I'm not empowered by any law to, take, to, okay. to, to do it. So I cannot think of a word that I can use when I'm taking a confession. I'm a lay person when it comes to that. A person with 50 years confessions that she has made, they don't see the element of inducement in that paragraph A. Because all that the deponent was going to say is because he believed, and I'm not done with that paragraph. May I still proceed with that paragraph? Can you continue to read that paragraph, ma'am? That I do not work with the police or any other person in this case, and that he can speak freely and without fear in my presence. No good to get and Sabenzi, Namapoisa, Namage Mupi or Munya or Mundu Great Father Devi, No good to get and Apulu Mage, Mogukulegile, Ange Sabi, Gikona. Thank you. The wedding, you can speak. Do you agree that is not coming from the deponent? I've never claimed that it came from him. But you directed, in terms of that wedding, you directed the deponent to speak because no. You told him that you are not a police officer, you are not part of the investigation, you are a magistrate. But you further say you can. Do you understand what I'm saying? He had a choice to speak or not to speak. It was his choice. So what is the next, what was the answer given by the, by the deponent today? It's handwritten, if I'm not mistaken. After that paragraph, after paragraph 1A. There is no answer given by the deponent at that point in time because I continue to explain to him paragraph B and C before I asked him if he understood the explanation. I call Gibendul paragraph C, B, Canyon paragraph C, Napambingo, what in Buzeg, and Aba Uyezwag, Logo and Kreta, Ugo Kaza. Let's hear what paragraph B says. You also informed that if necessary, you might will be af uh, afforded protection against any irregularities. Thank you. Stop there. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uma is Dingo Siko Nage, Uzo Vigel, Noma Uzo Nigeswa, Vigelega, Ugo Nagu Pige, Ogunga Hambigas. Is that not a promise? Is that not a promise? I'm asking, is that not a promise? It might be construed as a promise that he needs to, if he feels threatened, that arrangements will be made for his I'm protection. Still there, ma Don't go f further than that. I ask you, do you to want me stop. To, do you want me to interpret for your client, sir? No, no. I wanted to but stop. She still, I, want to, I need to interpret what she says. It's for your client, sir. Please allow me to. Lanage Ungasho Gumakaza Logo Uguti Yebo Isona is Tembi Solis, Woguti Uyachelwage, U Magu Uguti Uziswa and Atige Ukonage, Nomage Uye Saba, Uguti Gamalung Selelo, Azugwenziwage, Uguti Avige Lege. I ended I ended where you said he will be protected and you considered that it amounts to a promise. I is not to say that I will be protected. He was informed, and I quote, if necessary, he will be afforded protection against any irregularities. Lana ge kutazwa ge uguti uma nomage iuba istingo si kona ge uzoti kunsegi swe ge uguti uya vigeleka. 
did you, un did you explain what kind of irregularities you were referring to? Nia? No. Ang shongo ge uguti umang kulmango uguti ge umago uguti kukona gonga zangi gwenzi wegat na makamba gas uguti ngangi show ni ngang kulmangani. Did you establish whether the deponent understood what you meant by irregularities? Nia to story ni? Not at that stage. Galesos Katige and Gi Shongo Nomagan and Sexego would be Uyaz Wagon, Omias, Sayin, would be Shuktin, Oman Kulamanga Longo, Gogong and Zwangagas and Amanga Hambangagas. To put it on record, what irregularities were you referring to? Enough it's anything, enough of the influence, enough of the right of Mente, enough of it's what the beer it, and it can enough of it's VS what I'd say work by Pent. Okay. And I was referring to anything, uh, any influence, any uh, threats that were made, anything that could, uh, in his eyes or uh, in his view, could have then uh, been uh, a, uh, an irregularity. Is it not unverdeidelijk what it is from my kant of me? Because I will not be influenced by it. So if he was unhappy with anything, then he would have said it to me. It was not explained to me, to him at that stage as to what irregularity is. If there was anything, then he would have informed me or told me about it. Hij moest wel geweten dat hij mensen vertrouwen kon nemen om enige problemen wat hij gehad heeft, enige iets wat hij beschouwt als een onregelmatigheid te kunnen noemen. I had to know that, or he knew that, or what he had to know was that uh, he had to take me into his confidence that anything that happened or any irregularity that happened that he had to inform me about that. Wagu uguti kwa kufanele azige uguti no kwa ma yini ge ea enze, ea enze gile, e futi nga zange enze ge ngentele, nama ngentele, kwa kufanele uguti enze ge ngayo angchele. Without putting any ideas into his head, in a panto go go tinge ubu sufaga ge noma yeni ge ekanda lake noma ge umfaga ge njama ideas ekanda lake. But with regard to irregularity, we are the only one who knew about or the context or the content of irregularity. That has never been explained to the deponent. That's my point. You're the only one who knew about irregularities. I wasn't aware of any irregularity at that stage, sir. Nangi ngazi ngaluto ge ego ngabe yense ga ge ega zange yense ge ngende langale soskati les. Can you get back? Let's get to paragraph C. This is not a trial, and I'm not hearing. Any charge against you? Eh, aksugod na ge logo ukula ge tala futi ge ang lalila ng ang zanga lana ge uzo lalila ah itala nama amatala o wetweswai. Right. That's very important. At the time, Ndanzi was interviewed by you. Specifically on the paragraph three, uh, on, on, on paragraph C, did he appear you as an accused person? Did he appear you as a suspect or any person who wanted to make a confession before you? I don't understand the May question. May I rephrase it? At that time, Danzi appeared before you on the 24th. Have you ascertained whether he has been charged or he was not charged or he was just an ordinary civilian who wanted to make a confession? Have you established it? I have not that question that I was not sure if he was already on something. I was not sure if this person is what came to me to me because he Bekentenis wou maak op wat hy ook al wou sê. Op die historie moet ek nie eens geweet wat het was. I did not ask the question in that form or in that manner. 
so I wasn't aware or I didn't know as to whether he had been charged. Uh, I just took him as someone who came before me uh, to make a, a confession. Yes. Uh, but uh, prior to the completion of the proform, mm. did you converse or speak to the investigating officer of the case? Ja, in sy teenwoordigheid, die, uh, wel ek dit nie vir die onderzoekbeamte, dat is nie, ek het my aangeneem. Toe is Sir Shant Mugwane um, vir my onself bekend gestel het, en vir doeleindes van die voltooiing van die forum, ek kom gevraad vir die politiestaas en die kastnummer, sy het nie beskikbaar gewees het nie, sy het nie daar geskryf het, not available or unknown. Yes, in his presence, that was at the time that when I spoke to uh, uh, Sergeant uh, uh, Vusumuzi Mukhane, that's when I made inquiries with regards to the police station as well as the case number. If it wasn't there, I would then just have written not available. Nakuluma again, Nayege. Oh, so she also said that uh, I wasn't aware or I didn't know whether he was the investigating, uh, investigating officer or what. Uh, so she said that I didn't know whether he was the investigating officer or what. With uh, a certain, uh, uh, or, certain uh, or some uh, confessions, uh, it is, that information is not there simply because uh, maybe there is no uh, docket that has, uh, uh, the, no docket exists at that stage. So I would then not write that because it is not contained. With other confessions that I call on theory, is the person. Um, of is daar een dossier geopend, maar niemand is nog formeel aangeklaan. So met andere woorde, daar is iets een kastnummer, maar niemand is nog formeel op die zaak aangeklaan. So ek kan al reeds die inlichting hee met die confessie, maar die persoon kan of aangeklaan wees of nie aangeklaan wees nie. With certain uh, confessions, uh, it is so that uh, there is already a docket, but no one has yet been formally charged. So there would be some information. So it's either a person has been charged or a person has not yet been formally charged. And uh, but in this particular case, I don't. I, I didn't know as to whether he had been charged or not with uh, regards to the uh, available information regarding this docket. Before we move on to paragraph four, I think other paragraphs were reduced. And the other paragraph relates to a minor. But for the benefit of the public, does the taking of a confession prescribes a jurisdiction, a place where it's supposed to be taken? Yeah. No. Uktatwa ge guayo e confession agu shore no mage a kazi guguti gunenda we tease ek fanele no ma e umamga pants gwenda we tease like fanele guguti tatele kon. Are you aware that the deponent was arrested at Rustinbeck? No. Angazi ge no ma angwazi ge ugutwa ebo shelwe at Rustinbeck. Are you aware that the deponent was arrested on the 16th of June 2020? Hij heeft mij zo meer gedeeld dat hij gearresteerd was op de 16e juni. Hij informed me as such dat hij was arrested on the 16th of June. Waarom zei hij na ge? Hoe goed hij was op de 16e juni?
Let's move to paragraph four. in an adjournment. What time is it? Uh, five to one. Five to one. Yes. Two we can resume at two. Two o'clock. Okay. Two o'clock. We return. Mm -hmm.